Hello everybody, this is race 5 from the 2024 OVKA karting season. This is the pre-final for the Legends 206 class. If you're watching this, the, uh, the Legends is a 50 and over class. So any of you old guys out there watching, you know, we usually have a pretty good crowd. Although this day itself was pretty light on the go-karts. We had about, um, I think, 7 that showed up. Um, I qualified six, but I think one of the um, one of the guys in front of me was not able to make the the races. I don't know if he had a mechanical or what the issue was necessarily, but that moved me up to fifth in the starting position. And to the right of me, I have a newer driver, and you don't actually see him. Uh, you see him on the track a little bit later, but you're not going to see him much. But this will be a quick video. This is a little bit of a discouraging weekend for me here. Uh, obviously, the weather's nice out there. Everything looks good. Um, Basically, for me, this is the uh, start and the end of the race for me right now. I will not catch anybody. I will not pass anybody, I don't believe, in this pre-final. Um, I was just slower than everybody this day. I don't know what the deal was if I just was rusty. I think the motor that I was using had really never been, um, I guess, tuned by uh, any of the, you know, the, you've got folks out there that will do some tuning on your go-karts. You've got the... Uh, the Lawson motors out there, you've got some ghost racing motors, you got some Boganators out there. Uh, the Beyond the Carts guys have started to do some motors. I think Mark Cirk is another guy that will uh, tune some motors. But I think I was running a pretty much somewhat fresh out of the box motor. But as you can see, I'm going to trim this. This is going to be a video. This video will have both the pre final and final in it, and the runtime is going to barely be eight minutes. So. There wasn't a whole lot of what you would call uh, any action in this race. We're coming around. I just trimmed out all the middle. We're coming to the, um, I think we're coming up to the, uh, the checker flag pretty soon. I think the only action you could see it up ahead, uh, maybe a lap or two back, was 318, who is in front of me now. He was battling for second place, and when you're watching the video, if you look ahead, again, this happened probably about a half a lap or a lap or so ago. But going into turn three, I don't know if he made a little bit of contact with the 84 who ended up finishing second, but he shot through the grass and ended up going from third to fourth, so he lost the position. So, as you can see, it's, a, I think, pretty much the same starting grid that we had for the pre-final. We're going to go out on the final. This was a 12-lap race, I believe. So, by G&J standards, it's a, it's a little bit of a long one. Still, you're going to race for probably in the 11-minute range. I think most of these laps are in the mid-40s, second-wise. I think I ran, like, in the 47s. Everybody else is running in the 46. Everybody in 46 is up in front of me. I was just slow, so, again, not a fun day. This was making me uh, scratch my head by the end of the day because I'm pretty sure I rolled in that day thinking, oh, I'm going to be relatively strong. At this, you know, at this point in the season, I had finished uh, second in one race. I think I finished five out of ten in another race, but my times were relatively close to the uh, fellows in front of me. So to show up on this day thinking I was, you know, doing all right and to be uh, rolling around in fifth place the whole entire day, it was, uh, again, discouraging. So when we get to the uh, race six and seven in the further down the um, the season videos because I am making this video at the, the, the season has already concluded it's all over we know where we finished in the points probably at this point in the season I was fourth or fifth in the points but off we go this is the green flag for the final I do almost uh, coming around here I know the 86 is right next to me I know he can probably Probably was able to keep his foot into it a little bit harder than I was once, since he was on the outside coming around there, or coming around turn one. If you're watching my other videos, you know we always skip turn two on the uh, out, on the first lap of the race. But the 86 has rolled up in front of me, and it will stay that way. There is no, uh, I might get, you know, this is about as close as I'm going to get to the 86. We'll probably hit the uh, straightaway down here after this A turn and he's just gonna roll on off. So in my mind, I realize I'm getting killed coming out of that A turn, and I almost, well, 
I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that I may have been geared a little too tall for this configuration, or at least too tall to hang with my buddies up there with my inability to go through the uh, A kink um, consistently. Sometimes I'd get through it okay, sometimes I wouldn't. So, you know, I noticed this, you know, coming around here, it doesn't seem like I'm getting pulled on super hard, but once we hit that A turn, I usually just get smashed down that front straight away. But again, as I mentioned, this is the Legends class, so if I've got any viewers out there that are in the Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky region, even Illinois is not, you know, there's people coming over from Illinois here and there, um, and you're over 50, you know, this is a growing class. I raced the CKNA Grands this year, and initially they put a field cap at 50 for the legends group and within two days it was filled so they bumped the uh, the ceiling up or the uh, the max entries up to 60 and again it filled back up in just a couple of days so you know if you're out there looking if you're older and you're looking for somewhere to race or a category to race in this is um, this definitely this age group is growing I've even been to class, okay, we went around the four. He was the fellow that started next to me. Again, he's pretty new, so he's just, you know, he's learning the track. This is, you know, that turn is one of our harder turns right there um, on this track. So if you don't really practice that and get it mastered, where you don't have to really think too much about it as you approach it, um, you know, you might take some time losses trying to go through that bad boy. But I just let this play out for the last couple of laps. Again, I'm not going to catch anybody. Still rolling around in fifth place. There's only six carts on the track. Um, I guarantee you there are definitely more fun videos in store for some of the uh, races further into the schedule, um, especially towards the end. We also do a few races where we change up con and run configurations that we've never run before. So in some of my upcoming videos, when we get down here, I'll just tell you where we had two races in a row where they called it the X configuration. Oh, that's the checkered, so. But uh, they're going to make it where when you come around turn one right here, you just keep it out. You don't have to go through that um, turn two. So those races were a lot of fun, I thought, when they made that change. And those will, those will be forthcoming videos. So that's it, everybody. Uh, I started fifth, ended fifth, started fifth, ended fifth. Not a good points day for the uh, championship points. So, again, I had improvements to make after this, so stay tuned to see if I make them. Have a good one, everybody.